What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's video I'm really excited because I'm going to be presenting to you a new Revit plugins for designing kitchens and any other type of cabinetry system. So it's called a real-time custom cabinetry system for Revit uh, and it's designed for creating, well, you, you may have guessed it, the custom cabinets. So one of the most annoying uh, parts of Revit is actually creating in kitchens uh, just because uh, you have to rely on existing families and when you have to modify those families it can be really annoying having to go to the different families uh, make some adjustments to the parameters it can take a very long time and in the end it's really rare that you can get it to look exactly how you want it to look and then you have to model in place and then that's a whole different nightmare so working with cabinets in Revit is is really annoying that's that's what I'm trying to say uh, so this family uh, or this plugin actually tackles that because it has a completely different approach. Instead of giving you families to create a kitchen, uh, you get a plugin that actually gives you tools that are specialized for creating custom cabinets. And that's really, really exciting. So I, I'm, I'm really kind of impressed with this plugin and uh, how it works. And I'm just going to be uh, taking the opportunity through this video to show you just all of the tools and features that are included. And also I'm going to be going over the, the workflow of this plugin. Uh, now this plugin is actually available uh, for sale today on my website, balkanarchitect.com. It's going to be the first link just below this video and then also up in the cards above. Uh, so uh, with this plugin, uh, you can get the plugin, but also you get courses. Uh, so I've created a lot of these uh, tutorials where I show you all of the different features in depth, step by step. So when you get the plugin, you also get kind of the, uh, the tutorials on how to use it properly. So you can get started using it right away. You don't have to kind of figure it out on your own. Okay, now let's just jump into Revit. And then as you can see here, I have a kitchen. Now this is actually my kitchen. So I've modeled my own kitchen. Now, uh, unfortunately, when I was designing my kitchen, I didn't have this plugin. Uh, I was introduced to it a lot later and I, I got really annoyed because if I had this, it would make my job a lot easier and a lot smoother and I might have made some better design, de design decisions. So as you can see, this is the kitchen that has been created through this plugin. This can be achieved in like 15, 20 minutes tops. So it's really quick to, 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 to create things like this. And then also here I have this space frame shelf that's also been created through this a plugin or using the tools that are available with this plugin. So you're not really constrained to kitchens only. You can use this for bathrooms, uh, for any types of cabinets, for workspaces. So uh, you don't really want to look at it as like a kitchen plugin. It's more of a plugin uh, that gives you tools that can allow you to do different things. And th those things include kitchens, cabinets, and so on. And now you may notice that here, on my ribbon, I have some interesting tools. So I'm actually in the RCCS v5 uh, tab. So when you install the plugin, you get a new tab. And then here you see all of the tools that are included there. So uh, here we have some of the tools that are kind of referring to setting everything up. And this uses uh, curtain walls. As you can see, when I hover over this, it says curtain wall. It uses curtain walls sort of as a base. And then it places all of the elements on top of that. So uh, that's how this has been set up to work and it's a really really good solution because it then allows you to uh, to, to customize it uh, quite a bit more than you would be able to any other way. Uh, now so all of these tools are kind of designed for that and when it comes to designing your kitchens here or any other cabinets you're usually starting off with an elevation view as you would naturally you kind of sketch things out and then you turn that into 3d now speaking of turning uh, 2d sketches into 3d you get this uh, AI tool which allows you to create a custom basic kitchen or a custom space frame completely by AI you don't really have to define where the benchtop is where the 
cabinets are, you just have to create a simple sketch like I have here. So this is just the elevation view of this, like the fridge and the cabinets. So you just create that sketch view and then the AI generates all of the elements on that. So the fridge, the cabinets, everything. Now it's definitely not going to be perfect. So you do have to kind of customize it further, but it does save you some time because it can figure out, okay, kind of, the, here's the bench top. These are the bottom cabinets. This is the fridge. So it does kind of skip a few steps. So it's a really powerful AI feature. You can toggle things from 2D to 3D here. Uh, it makes sense to work in 2D and then when you just want to see what you have done, you switch back into 3D. Here we have just some options. So are you affecting a single element or are you making a global a change? Here you can enter data and then we get to the fun part, which is the actual cabinetry. So here you have the cupboards, the lower ones. As you can see, you can specify the hinge position, how many doors, you have the middle ones, the upper ones, how, the, how it opens, you have other ones, so you have the pantry, you have the drawers, so you can actually customize drawers quite a bit. Uh, as you can see here, I have some drawers and I can customize each individual height of each drawer, which I really like. Usually you don't get this. If you had like a drawer family, uh, it would usually be perhaps some parameter where you have to enter a number and that's annoying. Here you just kind of add a line and it creates an extra drawer. So those are the drawers, the shelves, uh, the infills, and then we have the appliances. So you have for cooking, the dishwashers, the, the fridges, and so on. Here we have, for example, we have some families here that you can include. Uh, but uh, more interestingly, here we have all of the handles. So you can search for different types of handles. Uh, you can set up their size, the dimensions, the position on the door. So as you can see, it's very, very customizable. You can get the handles to look exactly how you want them to look. So for example, here I want it to be vertical and all the way up so I can achieve that. Uh, moving forward here, we have all of the different materials and styles. It's already set up with uh, certain presets, so you can actually get it to look really, really good really quickly simply by using those presets. And then obviously you can customize it even further. You can add uh, inserts, insets. So if you want to have like a glass door for your cabinetry, things like that, or just a different finish or frosted glass, mirrored glass, all of that is available. Uh, here we have just some uh, types for embossing. Then we have option to enter sinks. As you can see, you have ba bathroom sinks as well as kitchen sinks. So everything is customizable there. You here we have the cooktop, ice maker, so on. And then here we just have some modification tools and so on. So that's all that's included. And then you use that to create things like this. Okay, let's cancel out of this. Uh, now the workflow uh, works like this. You open up an elevation view like this one. Here you can see that if I edit this group, I have just added some detail lines just to kind of get the initial sketch going. This is usually what you would do on a piece of paper, for example. And then once you're finished with that, you kind of trace over that using these tools. Now, once you do that, you basically kind of create different sections and then you can insert different cabinets. So you would go here to the cool and find a fridge and then you would place a fridge here. You would place top cabinets here. So it's just a few clicks. And once you're done, it's going to generate this really cool, uh, really cool kitchen. And then you can customize it even further. Pretty much everything is customizable. So you can get it to look just exactly how you want it to look. So it's a really powerful, uh, really powerful plugin. So if you're interested in getting this plugin, as I said, it's going to be the first link just below this video and then also up in the cards above. Uh, you can go to my website there. I have just a little bit more information. We have a whole new tabs for plugins. So there might be some interesting plugins in the future as well. And if you decide to get it, as I said, there are tutorials. There is, I show you how to create this complete kitchen from start to finish also this complete space frame for a shelf from start to finish so all of the information is included there you don't have to figure it out on your own uh, all of the uh, all of the kind of the, the knowledge is there and then once you get the hang of it you can figure out your own workflows and perhaps uh, you, you can use this for something like I don't know creating offices or creating uh, things like that some, some you, can, you might find new um, new applications for all of these tools.
Okay, so that's pretty much it for uh, this tutorial or this preview of this plugin. Please tell me in the comment section below the video, uh, did you like this plugin? Do you find it ex as exciting as I did? And uh, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, obviously, I'm going to be back with uh, another Balkan Arctic tutorial uh, just in a couple of days. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, balkanarctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content, uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos, and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.